Okay. Hope you're enjoying your day, afternoon, and or evening, wherever you are on planet Earth. Thanks for watching. In this particular vid, I will be discussing the movie Iron Giant. It's still a very good movie, number one. It came out in 1999. And it was ironically a very hard find for a very good movie. I'm not sure why it was so hard to find. I found it on YouTube of all places, so I'm happy. Alright, so the movie itself deals in the relationship between an Iron Giant, obviously, and it's the title, nine-year-old boy named Cole Hearth. Which, if you get a chance to look up on IMDb, it is Swedish. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. On Ordinary Name, that's awesome, original, nice. Now, sadly, this could have been a better movie than it turned out because the movie was an $80 million movie, budget-wise, and only made $31.3 million, which is very sad because it's a very wholesome movie. And here's a couple reasons why is the cast. You have Jennifer Aniston, Vin Diesel, and Cloris Leachman. Now, the funny thing about that, two things, actually. First thing, Cloris Leachman is a teacher in the movie. She had a cameo. Vin Diesel is the Iron Giant in the movie. And again, if Vin Diesel is going to be doing any CGI or and or animated movie, he doesn't have a lot of lines, which I find very hysterical. If he's doing anything else, he's the star of the movie, most likely. So, beyond it being wholesome, it's very down to earth. It's very old American, if that's a thing. Because it's set in a small town in the 1950s during the height of the Cold War. And I like it just for that part. Uh, just for the historic Cold War portion of it. So the nine-year-old kid in the movie befriends a giant. But sadly, there isn't a second movie because the animator and the director, uh, last guy, last name of Bird, he, Brad Bird, that is, did not want to do a second one. Even though, in the end, it teases a second. But, he didn't want to do it. So, in Planet Earth, it's not getting a, another Iron Giant. They don't explain why he left, where he left from. It's uh, Those two things are open-ended. And it makes for a great story, don't get me wrong. Look at all, comment below, and have a great story together, story time, but they covered the where, the, oh, the where, where he's from. That is the one of the huge questions, too. They got three huge questions. They covered the how and why and how he crash landed, but the why of his ship crash landing. So was he just passing by the Milky Way galaxy? There's another why question for you, so up to four questions. For this movie that is needs now definitely needs a number two. Now it's something to think about, something to comment about, and something to do story time with in the comments. What do you get? What does everybody else think? That's my opinion. Beyond that, this movie is a real gem. It's a real sweetheart of a movie. Like I've also said, it's very wholesome. So that's, let's see what else I like. I love the sets. That's a couple of movies I really like the sets. I love the clothing. It's very correct. And the vehicles are very nice to look at too. Yeah. I enjoy it. Uh, have you seen Iron Giant? If you haven't, why not? It's been out since 1999. It is October 23. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
I'm Dave. This has been my life. It seems like if he's doing war, fortunately. Now, beyond this, and a nine-year-old, it's got a number one.